What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're checking out the Koenig CG9 tire chains on our 2016 Subaru Forester. These are gonna be self-tensioning tire chains that are going on your tires really easily. They're also a diamond pattern. So once you get them on there, that diamond pattern is gonna have more coverage on the tire versus some other styles that are ladder pattern that just kind of go across the tire. Those are good for starts and stops, but this is good for overall. So not only does it help you with the starts and stops, but these links here, the square links, dig in to that ice and get you that grip that you're missing when you're going down the road. You can see the diamond pattern here, like I was talking about on the tire. That's where it gets its name from. Now it also is made out of manganese nickel alloy, so that's gonna help it hold up to the elements since it is gonna be in the snow all the time. You don't have to worry about any of that. Now, on the outside, it has have a coating. We still recommend wearing gloves, but that's gonna help it not get as cold as the chains here on the tire. The self-adjustment here is really cool because it's gonna help adjust this chain as you go down the road and keep it tight to the tire. But not only that, as your tire wears down, that's gonna change the profile so it will adjust to that as the years to come. Another thing I like is they give you a nice plastic case for the chain. Some other chains give you just a bag that it rips them to shreds immediately or at the second use. I like to keep the chains all together so they don't take up the back of my vehicle. So I know that this is going to last with those chains in there. You also have a backside here as a hook and loop. So that's going to attach to the carpet back there. It just keeps them sliding around. And they come in a quantity of two. I suggest testing it out in your garage. I wouldn't drive around with them on there, but do it in a warmer climate where it's easier and you have more time to make those adjustments and get them on there so that when you have to do it in the snow, you can get it done pretty quickly. Now, it is really easy to do. Check out how I did it. First thing you wanna do is lay out your chains. Make sure there's no twists or breaks in it. So just looking at them right here, everything looks fine. Sometimes when you go to coil them up and put them in the box, one can get looped through like this and you wanna make sure you sort that out before you go to put them on your vehicle. Looking at the chains, this divides where the tire is going to go. Another indicator that you have this set up correctly is that the Koenig brand is going to be facing down. And then you can look at these chains here, these links. You want the flat side facing up because that's what you want touching the tire. You don't want the teeth on the other side digging in. Now we're going to slide it back behind the tire. Take it like this. Go around. The other side. And then we're going to reach up and make our first connection. I'm going to take both blue cables and up and around the back side of the tire. I'm going to have to pull some chain out if it gets stuck underneath the tire. Just up and around and make our first connection. Let me get the hands out of the way so you can see it. You're going to push that cord in there, pull it back, and your first connection is made. Now we'll focus on draping the chains over the front of the tire. I got a snag back there. Once you take that out, we'll bring it around front. Make sure you want to adjust this. Looks like it's got twisted up just a little bit. It looks like it's sitting more flat. And we'll make our first or second connection here with the red link and hook. It's going to help hold it on the tire. We can make some adjustments. Here is the links I was talking about. The flat side is towards the tire. You see the name is sticking out, so we know we got it on there correctly. Come back towards the bottom. You might have to pull some more chain out towards the front. We've got the red catch here. It's so gonna take the adjuster, pull this back, put the gray cord in there, through the side, and then we can pull it tight. You see as I pull that, it ratchets, and the, the chain gets tighter to the tire. Then we can pull our hook and cord, make that attachment, and that'll finish it up. Overall, I like these chains. They're really easy to put on there and take off, and that's what it's all about. I don't want to be in the snow any longer than I have to. I think that about does it. Thanks for hanging out, and hope this helped.